I do hate to disturb you while you're cooking books, but, uh, there's a delivery for you. Martin, really, can't you just do it yourself? But you see, this is not for the shop, this is for you. Right, okay, tell me, if I employ a wet rag, would I have to pay it as much as I pay you? Hi. Hello. You disappeared. Yeah, yeah. Um, I had to leave. I didn't want to disturb. How have you been? Fine, fine. Everything much the same. When they change the law, Spike and I will marry immediately. Whereas you, I've watched in wonder. Awards? Glory? Oh, no. It's all nonsense, believe me. I'd no idea how much nonsense it was, but... Nonsense it all is. Well, uh, yesterday was our last day of filming, so I'm leaving, but, um, I brought this for you. From home. So I thought I'd give it to you. Thank you. Um, shall I? Oh, no, don't open it now. I'll, I'll be embarrassed. Well, thank you. I don't know what it's for, but thanks anyway. Actually, I had it in my apartment, and I thought you'd... But when it came down to it, I, I didn't know how to call, having behaved so badly. Twice. So it's just been sitting in the hotel. Then you came, and I figured... The thing is... The thing is... What? What is a thing? Customer! Don't even think about it. Go away immediately. Go away! You were saying? Yes, I have to go away today, but I wondered, if I didn't, whether you might let me see you a little, or a lot, maybe. See if you could like me again. But yesterday, that actor asked you who I was, and you just dismissed me out of hand. I heard. You had a microphone. I had headphones. Well, you expect me to tell the truth about my life? To the most indiscreet man in England? Well, I... Uh, excuse me, it's your mother on the phone. Will you tell her I'll ring her back? I've, I've actually tried, tried that tack. But she said you've said that one before, and it's now been 24 hours, and the foot that was purple is now sort of blackish in colour, and... Right, right, yes. Perfect timing as ever. Martin, hold the fort a second. Uh, yes, all right. Um, could I just say... I, I thought Ghost was the most wonderful film. Is that right? Oh, yes. Um, I've always wondered what, um, what Patrick Sweezy's like in real life. I can't say that I know Patrick all that well. What, he wasn't that friendly during filming? Well, I'm sure he was friendly to Demi Moore, who acted with him in Ghost. Oh, 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 right, sorry. Right. Always been a bit of an ass. Uh, anyway, uh, well, it was lovely to meet you. I'm a, a huge, huge fan of yours. And Demi's, of, of course. Sorry. That's fine. There's always a pause when the jury goes out to consider their verdict. I don't look. Um, I'm a fairly level-headed bloke. Not not often in and out of love. But uh, can I just say no to your kind request and, and leave it at that? Yes, fine. Of of course. I of course. Well, I'll just be going. Um, and it was nice to see you. The, the thing is, with you, I'm in real danger. It seems like a perfect situation, apart from that foul temper of yours. Ho, ho, ho. 
but my relatively inexperienced heart would, I fear, not recover if I was once again cast aside, as I would absolutely expect to be. Uh, there, there are just too many pictures of you, too, too many films, you know. You'd go and I'd be, uh, well, buggered, basically. That really is a real no, isn't it? I live in Notting Hill. You live in Beverly Hills. Everyone in the world knows who you are. My mother has trouble remembering my name. Fine, fine. Good, good decision, good decision. The, the fame thing isn't really real, you know? And don't forget, I'm... I'm also just a girl. Standing in front of a boy. Asking him to love her. Ha, ha, ha.